guys welcome back to my channel so i just finished watching episode five of hawkeye i will be finishing the season tonight my reaction will be under my youtube memberships if you are new here and you do not know what that is it is a few special perks for members only and i have two levels of memberships over there level one is for 2.99 that's two dollars and nine cents and you get priority replies for me special calls and live streams level two is for 4.99 and you get everything that level one has plus you get all of my reactions to all of the shows i watch any movies i'm watching all of my uncut try not to laugh so make sure you guys go and check that out and become a member today now this episode starts out with yelena who is black widow's sister i don't know what that was that happened in the bathroom of whoever that lady's house is i guess later on she's a friend or was an enemy and is a friend. I don't know why I feel like I saw this in the Black Widow movie, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But anyway, she's there with another girl. She's beating her up and trying to figure something out. She goes to the bathroom and then it almost looks like the blip happened or something. And then it's five years later and she comes out of the bathroom. Literally everything is completely different. Like there's even a man in the house. There's a baby, <laughs> like not a baby, but you know, she's probably like three or four years old. And so she doesn't even know what happened. And she starts asking for Natasha and she starts asking the friend, where's Natasha? I need to tell her I'm okay. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she doesn't know. So then anyway. I see more of Maya in this movie because then it goes back to uh, Clint and Kate. And they're trying to figure out who this other chick is, which is Elena. Um, where do I begin? So Kate goes home and her mother sees her all beat up and everything. And she's worried about her. And... Um, Kate is crying because Clint told her basically you're done you're all set because in my opinion I feel like he just doesn't want to be responsible for someone else's life who he got close to kind of like Natasha and so he's sending her home she wants to be an Avenger so bad or a superhero she's talking to her mom and there's going back and forth about her wanting to be an archery and things like that and then she tells her look mom me and Clint were, were working on a case where we were trying to figure out who Sloan Industries is or whatever, and they found a lot of incriminating information about Jack. Now, I knew Jack wasn't ish from the very beginning. I feel like he is just, from the very beginning, there has been a bad taste in my mouth about this dude. Then, probably around... Maybe the second episode, I started to feel some kind of way about her mom. And I was like, you know, something's up with her mom. And it's more than just her having the rose-colored glasses on when it comes to Jack. I feel like something's up. And I've been saying this this whole time, every episode. Like, I just feel like something's up with her mom. So she tells her mom that she found some stuff. And she was like, all I want you to do is just look into it for me. Her mom didn't even flinch. She didn't even look the least bit concerned, surprised, nothing. Right then and there, I was like, you know what? Kate's mom is not who I think she, like, something's up with this chick. Something is up with Kate's mom. She's clearly not a good person. So anyway, Clint is now trying to figure out what his next move is. Um, he went back to the apartment with the guy who's in the that Viking group or whatever. And he's trying to figure out what's what along the way. Um, he ends up talking to his wife. And he lets his wife know basically he, he's not coming home. He needs to put all this to rest, right? And he ends up. Where it looks like he's at, it looks like he's outside of Grand Central or he's outside of somewhere. And there's a plaque um, basically acknowledging, you know, Iron Man, Black Widow, him, um, 
the Hulk, just all of them lined up on this plaque on a wall outside, right? He takes his hearing aid off and it gets, it kind of got me a little emotional because he's like, Natasha, I really need to talk to you right now. And he's talking to her and he's like getting all teary eyed and he's telling her that he misses her. He's like, but I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. So that went from sweet to this dude's about to go to war or something. So in the midst of all of that, now Kate is not letting this go. So she is blowing up his phone, trying to get in touch with him. She ends up going to her old apartment and Yelena somehow is there. Now she is having this conversation about with Yelena. And it's funny because Yelena is doing such a great job being this Russian black widow assassin. Accent everything. So she's trying to have like this girl time with her, but then things get really serious. Kate's just kind of waiting for her to tell her exactly what she's doing there. She ends up telling her that she's Natasha's uh, sister and that she's there to kill Clint. And she's trying to tell her Clint is not who you think he is. How long have you known him? He's a bad person. The blood trail that follows him can be wrapped around the world like that's how bad he is and she's like no like he's not like that he would never do anything like that and you know Kate really wants to believe that Clint is a good person but clearly Yelena's out for blood because of what happened to Natasha so she's looking for her and there's she's sitting there going back and forth with her about some boxed macaroni and cheese and the interaction is actually funny. I thought it was funny. So then she leaves and she tells her, don't get in my way. Um, so then what happens after that? Okay, so now Clint's talking to his wife. He's telling her what he needs to do. She's all for it. She's got his back. So he goes and he sends a message to the tracksuit guys for Maya to meet them where she met Ronan. And they all end up getting there and Ronan starts taking all of them out one by one until none of them are left. And that was actually pretty cool. And then the fight scene with him and Maya was pretty cool. And then, of course, this is where I see what I saw in the first episode of Echo, where he's got her on the floor and he's talking to her and letting her know your boss hired me to kill your father. And she does not believe it. And um, she some, uh, somehow, you know, gets really upset about that. She ends up kicking him down, taking the sword. And then Kate shows up. So now, um, Kate shows up, saves him. He's gone. She basically leaves. But now at this point, Maya is asking her, I guess, second in command to her father, or whoever he was supposed to be. I don't even know if that's her love interest or not. It's just a weird vibe between them two. But um, Clint basically told him to tell her to stop, you know, chasing after a ghost. She's not going to listen, so she's clearly after him. But after she after Ronan told after Clint told her what he told her he start she started to question the guy and she was like why weren't you there at the meeting where were you and you can tell like he looked guilty because he was like I don't know I was just wasn't there like what do you mean you were supposed to be there so things get interesting so then at one point Kate goes back home to her mother's house and lo and behold Jack is getting arrested and he's Telling the cops, I don't know who Sloan is. Only Sloan I know is some lady I used to deal with or something like that. And her mom is just like, I looked into it. I had to do it. And Kate is just like, oh my God, mom, I'm so sorry. You know, and the whole time I'm sitting here thinking to myself, something's up. Her mom, something's up. As much as Jack gets on my nerves, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like him. I get bad vibes from him, but I also feel like 
maybe he's not the bad guy. I don't know. I have to see what happens in the next episode. But, um, so I had a feeling in the last episode, I was just like, you know what? I think that Eleanor, Kate's mom, has something to do with Yelena showing up trying to get to Clint. It's like, how, how else would she know where he was at? And the funny little uh, phone call that Kate's mom made after she walked Clint out of her house. So now, Yelena, you see Yelena walking, and then you also see Kate's mom walking out in the street, and Yelena's following her. And lo and behold, my intuition was right. I think so far it's pointing to me being right. She ends up texting Kate and telling her, I think I know who hired me. Your mother, Eleanor Barton. And she sent her a picture. And it's a picture of Kate's mom with Kingpin. I'm sitting here like, oh my gosh. That's going to be really interesting. Because... First of all, I feel like she knows about Sloan Industries. I feel like she knows about it. Something's up with her and that that company. Whether Jack has anything to do with it, I really don't know. I didn't get good vibes from him from the very beginning. But he may be a good guy and she may be the bad one. I don't know. But I cannot wait to see the next episode. So um, this is getting really, really interesting. Oh, and um, Kate did end up telling Clint that the girl that was on the roof was Natasha's sister. And you can tell, like, he he was just like, huh, wow. Almost like he was, it reality hit that she's coming after me because of Natasha type of thing. So at the end of the episode, Kate shows him a picture of her mom and Kingpin. And he was like, this is the guy that I've been worried about the whole time. And... That, that's just really interesting to me now because Kingpin allegedly sent Ronin to kill Maya's dad. So he's got a lot of people after him. So I can't wait to see what happens in this last episode. But leave your comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed my review for episode five of Hawkeye. Um, make sure you guys go and subscribe to my memberships so you can see my reaction to the rest of the episodes and yeah let me know what you guys thought of episode five of hawkeye if you haven't done so subscribe to my channel hit like share and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever i pop up in your feed i'll see you guys later